Well, good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Sunday, the third Sunday of Easter, and uh, it is Sunday, April 18th, and it's also the feast day of St. Athanasia of Aegina, uh, which is in Greece. That is definitely a Greek term or Greek name and Greek town. Uh, but anyway, she served as an abbess and was known for her miraculous healing of the sick and also those that were seen as being possessed. Uh, but she died in the year 860 in Greece. And I, and I couldn't find what she's the patron saint of specifically, but if she's a miracle worker, I'll take it. Anyway, today's gospel is from Luke chapter 24, verses 35 through 48. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still amazed, or actually while they were, while they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. All right, so this uh, this gospel from Luke, uh, this was actually the exact same gospel that was read um, as part of the uh, liturgical calendar or whatever for the readings um, on Thursday, April 8th. Uh, so if you want, you can go back, you can just pause this video or cancel it and go back to my April 8th video. Uh, but I'll come, we'll see what God speaks with um, today uh, from reading the same scripture twice. Because you can get many different messages. It depends on what speaks to you. Um, so anyway, for as far as today, just as a reminder, this is, the, this is taking place directly after the appearance to the two disciples on the road to Emmaus. Um, and then he's revealing himself uh, after the breaking of the bread uh, to the disciples in Jerusalem. And we can see that, you know, Jesus is, he's trying to, to prove to them, in a sense, that he is who he says he was. And he's, and he's telling them, he's asking them questions like, why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Because he knows what's going on in their hearts. And he knows that there's, there's a lot of doubt and fears and worries and whatever is, what is this? Jesus had died, he's here, like a lot of confusion, um, and he's just questioning why, you know, even though they spent time with him, like I said, for three years of ministry, uh, but yet they still doubt, and he does his best, uh, as, as much as he humanly can, he comes back, he even eats with them, um, to show his physical body is, is actually resurrected, but what, what stood out to me is the line of verse 41 where it says, while they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them so-and-so. Yeah. But what does that mean? Um, you know, incredulous for joy. That means that incredulous means they are still unable uh, or unwilling to believe that Jesus is truly present again. So that's, so they're, they're still doubting. And they're still they're like non-committal to it. But it says they're incredulous for joy. So they still sense that that deep 
sense of joy in their hearts just by being present with this man, Jesus, if it truly is him. Because again, they're incredulous. But it's with joy. And they're, they're in awe and amazement here um, as they continue throughout this scene in, in uh, Luke's Gospel. So I think that's, that's very telling. And that's a, a good challenge for, for us um, today and every day because we all have questions and doubts and worries and fears and confusions inside of our hearts um, probably almost every single day because we are human. But the challenge is to find joy uh, in this day um, and know that the whole point of Jesus Christ coming at the beginning and then resurrecting at the end of his ministry and his death on the cross is so that he can overcome our fears for us and that he can replace all that negative stuff with the positive stuff of joy and faith. So the challenge is real some days, but we can do it. So have a great day. God bless. Keep it real. In the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.